Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to select a group of elements with D3. Uh, D3 also has the select all method to select a group of elements. It returns an array of HTML nodes for all the items in the document that match the input string. Here's an example to select all the anchor tags in a document. So you have a constant variable set we're naming that variable anchors and we're setting that equal to and then we're saying uh, the, we're saying D3 library we want to select all the A elements and A elements are anchor elements so that's like links and things like that an anchor element is a link um, so like the select method select all supports the method chaining and you can use it with other methods when it says um, chaining it means it's going to be like select all dot append or whatever dot text or something like that so you're chaining them together with um, periods here um, so let's select all the list element tags in the document and change their text to list item by changing the dot text method so right now um, our HTML is hard-coded as to say example three times and now what we want to do is change it so that it says um, list item three times so we're gonna say um, D3 so we're gonna grab the like the library and then we're gonna say select all and we're gonna select all the list items um, and so now what we want to do is say we want to change the text inside of them and we're gonna change them to uh, say list item and you can see it's actually you know if when we're empty here it's it's blank because you know the JavaScript is refreshing each time we type in here so if I say list it's right there and then list item so yeah if you remember from Java uh, Java like jQuery you can do this exact same thing but in d3 it's just a different library that uh, does this does this does this but we'll see in the future that this is uh, the d3 has some special capabilities that things like JavaScript don't really have um, so yeah if you run the test you'll see they pass hope you guys enjoyed this one we'll see you in the next lesson